Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and it's a beautiful day to show you how to make lots of t-shirts fast on The Great Maker Show and Tell. So making personalized t-shirts is one of the most popular Cricut projects. It's fun to make cute shirts, but sometimes we just need to make a lot of shirts, whether it's for a family vacation, a reunion, or a team event. And that can take a while, let's be honest, and it can be a real chore. So today I wanna to show you how you can make a bunch of shirts faster, okay? So for this project, we are going to be working with the new Cricut Explore 3 and the Cricut Maker 3 cutting machines. And yes, you can definitely make personalized shirts with the previous models of Cricut cutting machines totally, but you'll be amazed at the difference that these new cutting machines make when you want to make a lot of something like t-shirts fast. Seriously, it's so cool. So we will also use the new Smart Iron-On Vinyl, also known as HTV or Heat Transfer Vinyl. This is the vinyl that will stick to your shirt, special heat sensitive adhesive. It sticks to fabric and other surfaces when it's pressed down with a heat source like the Cricut Easy Press or a household iron or a or actual regular heat press. So what's so special about the Smart R9 vinyl? Well, you don't need a mat, that's right. So there's no mat and trust me, this saves a ton of time. And that combined with the new speed of the Cricut Maker 3 and the Explorer 3 makes a world of difference. Wait until you see. And I'm also gonna use the new Cricut roll holder. The roll holder keeps your rolled up material, which is what you know comes on the Smart R9 vinyl, aligned as it feeds into the machine using the guides. This way you get a clean, precise cut. It even has a built-in trimmer that ensures a straight edge every time. So you just load and go. Again, no mat required. Now you definitely don't need the roll holder for the new machines. It's completely optional, so if you don't want to use it, you would just cut it with scissors or a craft knife or a rotary blade or something like that. But since I want to show you the new machine and how to make a bunch of t-shirts in less time than usual, I'm going to use the new machine. Smart iron-on and the Cricut roll holder for this tutorial because this is the secret sauce to how to make them fast. So in addition to the Cricut and the iron-on vinyl, you'll also want a regular fine point blade, a weeding tool, a pair of scissors, and a way to press your vinyl, such as an easy press or a household iron. A pressing mat comes in handy as well, or you can just use a folded towel. So of course, you're also gonna need some shirts. So I'm using 100% cotton t-shirts, but you can use a cotton poly blend as well. And everything else you need for this project is linked below this video, so you don't have to make any guesses about what we're using. Now the last thing you need is a design for your shirts, and I've made some free ones for you to use as well. So we've got vacations, and we've got some team shirts. So let me show you where you can get all of these free shirt designs, and then I will show you how to make them quickly and easily. Step one, get your shirt designs. First, find or make a design for your t-shirts. If you'd like to use my shirt designs, you'll find them in my free resource library. I have three free designs to choose from, adventure vacation, beach vacation, and a team shirt design. You can download them from my blog at jennifermaker.com 314. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries, and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one, or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 314, and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine, as well as a printable PDF for cutting by hand. Let me show you how to cut the family vacation shirt designs on a Cricut Maker 3. First, upload the SVG cut file to Cricut Design Space, and if you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com svgs. Here's what my family vacation shirt SVG files will look like in Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Personalize your shirt design. 
Now you'll need to change these designs to personalize them for your vacation, reunion, or team event, of course. First, I will show you how to customize the adventure vacation themed shirt. These are great for family vacations. Just imagine how fun the pictures will be with the whole family wearing matching shirts. The steps are pretty similar for all the designs, but let's make this one first together. For this shirt, I have used the font Calibri Bold. And if you need help installing a font in the Cricut Design Space, I made a video and blog post that explains everything step by step. You'll find it at jennifermaker.com slash fonts. So first, click Ungroup above the Layers panel on the right. Select the word Maker by clicking it on the Canvas or in the Layers list, and then click Delete. Next, click on Text on the left side of your window to open a new text box. And if you want to match what I made, select Calibri from the font menu. But feel free to use a different font too, of course. Once it's selected, click Bold from the Style menu. And of course, you can uh, use any style, any font that you want. I just recommend that it be big and bold and chunky so it's easy to read. Type your family name in the text box and then click out of the box or select the text layer in your layers panel. Now you'll want to unlock your sizing to adjust the proportions to get the same look as mine. Once unlocked, you can drag the lower right handle to adjust the width and height of your family name. And then once you've got the size you'd like and you've moved your name into place, you can just click out of your text box. And here's a note, if you need to change any of the other text areas in the SVG, you can follow the steps I just gave you to make the same changes. When everything looks good to you and it's just the way you want it, select everything by clicking the select all icon at the top of the screen or click and drag to select all items. You can confirm all layers are selected by looking in your layers panel and everything should be highlighted. Now click attach to keep it all together. This is very important because if you don't do this, your all of your things will end up in weird places when you go to cut. Okay, so click attach. And don't worry about making everything the same color because that will automatically happen when you click attach. Now it's time to make sure that your design is the right size for your shirt. My design is size for a unisex men's medium t-shirt. To resize the image to fit a standard t-shirt using a Design Space shirt template, click on the template icon over on the left side and search for or scroll down to select a t-shirt template. Now select the t-shirt type and size in the top menu. Then click and drag the design over the t-shirt template. Drag the resize handle in the lower right corner of the image box to resize the design and fit it to the template. Once your sizing is accurate for your shirt size, click Make It. On this next screen, select Without Mat because we're going to use Cricut Smart Iron-On to make the long cut. And that's what makes this project so cool and fast. You don't need a mat. The Cricut Maker 3 and Explore 3 can cut up to 12 feet of material. It is so cool. Now before confirming the length of your iron-on vinyl, you need to adjust the project copies to let Cricut how many designs you want to cut, which should correspond to the number of t-shirts you want to make. So we're going to make four copies. Just type four into the box and then click apply. Your screen will recalculate the amount of material needed to complete your project. Confirm that you have enough vinyl and make sure you toggle mirror on your project before you continue. That's very important, you must mirror iron-on vinyl. Always mirror your iron-on vinyl. So once mirror is enabled, your project will appear backward on your canvas preview, which is exactly what you want. And now uh, click continue and then select your material and you're looking for smart iron-on. It may say like smart vinyl dash iron-on, but the key is it's not just smart vinyl, like premium vinyl, it's smart iron-on vinyl. All right. And I also recommend changing the pressure to more for a clean cut. Now insert your smart iron-on into the Cricut roll holder with the shiny side down and feed your smart iron-on into your Cricut Explore 3. 
If you don't have a roll holder, no problem. You can simply cut your smart vinyl to meet the minimum length indicated and then just feed it into the machine using the guides. And honestly, you don't even have to cut it to size. You're just going to have to, if you just want to keep it on the roll, that's fine. You just want to keep an eye on it so it doesn't just like roll all, roll all over the place on your table, right? And if you're not at a long table, you may want to put a tub or bin behind your machine to catch the vinyl as it feeds through your machine. Now just press the load button to get started. Your machine will pull the vinyl all the way through to confirm that there's enough material before starting the cut. And then once your machine is ready to go, press the flashing arrow button to start. And you'll notice that this button has been changed from the older versions of the Cricut machines and now looks more like a play button, right? I think that's pretty cool. And uh, now you just get to sit back and watch how fast it cuts your smart iron on vinyl. It's kind of amazing. When your design is all done cutting, use the cutter on the roll holder to trim off your vinyl. If you don't have a roll holder, you can, of course, just skip that or, you know, just cut it with scissors or whatever you need to do. Okay, now it's time to weed your vinyl. Step three, weed your design. Depending on how many designs you made, you may want to cut apart the designs first, um, like before you weed it, or you can just do it after. It really depends. If you have a lot of designs for a lot of shirts, I recommend that you do cut it down to like at least like two or three. Otherwise, you might go a little nuts <laughs> when you're weeding. Um, I cut mine before I began weeding. Uh, so first, peel away the unwanted vinyl um, on the cut non-shiny side off of the carrier sheet. You'll want all the pieces that you want to keep for your design to stay on your carrier sheet. And you can use a weeding tool to help separate the layers if needed. Step four, apply your iron-on design to your shirt. Now it's time to add the smart iron-on vinyl to a shirt. And it's important to make sure that you place your vinyl design exactly where you want it. So this is what I recommend you do to get it in just the right spot. Uh, first, you want to find the center of your shirt. And you do that by folding it in half, match up all your sleeves and the side of your shirt, and then use your easy press or your iron to press it in the center. And this puts a little crease right on the fold. And now when you open your shirt up, you know exactly where the center is because there is a crease right down the center. And you can line up the center of your design with the crease. So place your shirt on a firm surface, such as a Cricut Easy Press Mat. Um, don't use an ironing board because it's not firm and it's got little weird little holes in it, okay? So if you don't have a Cricut Easy Press Mat, you can use a folded towel or even something like a wood cutting board. If you're using a cotton shirt and the same vinyl that I am, you can set your Easy Press to 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you're using iron, you can uh, put it between the cotton and the linen settings. And then preheat the shirt for five seconds. But if you're not using the same shirt or the same vinyl, uh, please go to jennifermaker.com slash easy press to get the right settings for you. Now fold the liner with your iron-on vinyl decal in half, creasing it just a little bit in the center. This will mark the exact center of your design and it won't hurt it. You can then line up the liner's crease with the shirt's crease for a perfectly centered shirt. Now place the iron-on design on the shirt with the shiny side facing up so the adhesive is directly against the shirt. I recommend that you position the design about three inches below the collar seam on a classic crew neck shirt. If you're using like a V-neck, it's going to be more like one inch below that uh, seam at the collar, okay? And if you're using an iron, cover the decal with a piece of parchment paper or tef Teflon um, to protect it from the, the surface of the iron because the iron has inconsistent heat. If you're using the easy press, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about using any kind of parchment or Teflon sheet at all because the carrier sheet is more than enough to protect it. 
If you're using the Cricut Easy Press like me, you'll want to press your decal for 30 seconds at 330 degrees Fahrenheit, then flip your t-shirt over and press for 15 seconds on the back side of the shirt. If you're using a smaller Cricut Easy Press, you'll need to um, press in sections around your shirt. If you're using an iron, you'll need to press in even smaller sections to make sure that you're getting everything evenly pressed. All right, now when the carrier sheet and the vinyl feel cool to the touch, peel the shiny carrier sheet off. If areas of the design lift up after applying, just replace the carrier sheet and repress for 10 seconds. And you can keep repeating this until everything seems like it's staying in place. If you're using a different type of smart iron-on vinyl or something else altogether, be sure to check the directions over at jennifermaker.com slash easy press. Remember that some vinyls need to be cooled completely before peeling off. Others, you peel off when they're warm. So always double check before you peel it off. Now just repeat the iron-on vinyl application that I showed you for all of your shirts. With everything cut and weeded, this part will go quickly and you can get a bunch of shirts made fast. Step five, show off your shirts. Your big t-shirt project is now complete. Wasn't that easy? You can make so many shirts so much faster this way. And you don't even have to make all the same design or use the same color of shirt. The trick here is just to cut a whole bunch at once, then weed and press them as a batch. This assembly line style will greatly speed up your shirts and get your job done faster. So how cool is that? Do you see how being able to make multiple cuts and multiple decals on one long length of iron-on can speed up a big t-shirt project. I mean, you could probably do more than a dozen shirts at once or more, depending on how big your design is. And as always, if you have any questions about making iron-on t-shirts, regardless of whether it's on an older or new Cricut machine, please leave your question below this video or better yet, come post over my Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. We all love to help and see your projects. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.